Okay, I want to demonstrate for you one of the issues that you might have if you are ever called to use a digital television as your presentation screen rather than a projector. Now this is a full 1080p uh, television. That means it's 1920 pixels or rows across and 1080 pixels or rows from top to bottom. Uh, you can see my default Mac desktop image here is set up to take up the entirety of the screen uh, because I have my external monitor set to be a 1080p screen. Now watch what happens, however, when I open up Keynote and try to present a slide that's set for its default resolution, which is 1024 pixels across and 768 pixels from top to bottom. Looks kind of small and out of place. That's because in reality, if I went from the top to the bottom of the slide and it was set to the uh, top edge, it would only come to about here maybe just right around there. And so you have the bars on the top and the bottom and on the left and the right. This is going to make your audience feel really confused. They're going to wonder why on earth this slide is on this screen and it's not taking up so much of, of the real estate that's available to it. And it's going to become a distraction. So what you want to do are a couple of things. The first and probably your best option if you're using a computer is to change your slide resolution. Uh, you can do that in any presentation software, Keynote, Impress, uh, PowerPoint, and you can set it, I want to say, I want this to be a 1080p resolution, and it's going to change the resolution of all your slides from 1024 by 768 to 1920 to 1080, or by 1080. Now that's going to be really good because it's going to take up the entirety of the screen, and people are going to be happy with that. You might run into some issues though because you're going to have to now readjust uh, where some of your elements are, uh, pictures and text and headings and things like that because now you're going to be dealing with a screen that is wider and that's going to change things up a little bit. It doesn't take too much to fix it, but if you're pressed for time, uh, you might want to avoid that or do it in, in advance. Say you are surprised. You show up at a venue and someone says, oh, we got this new TV. Here's what you're going to present on. And now you have this wonderful presentation that's set for its default resolution, 1024 by 768. And you have this huge HD TV that you're going to be presenting on, and you don't want it to look like this. Well, the good news is, is that there are settings inside just about every TV out there that are going to allow you to kind of fool the audience into thinking that this slide belongs on this screen. And what it's called is zoom mode or view mode or picture mode, depending on your manufacturer. They can't agree on the language for that. No matter if you, whatever option or language they use, however, when you get to it, you are going to look for something that's called zoom. And I'm going to show you what's going to happen to this slide uh, once you set it to zoom normal. Zoom normal. Now it looks as though this slide belongs on a screen that's this resolution. It goes from all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. If you look really carefully, you can see a line, but no one's going to care about that. You do still have these bars on the left and the right, which are called pillar bars. There's nothing really you can do about that, but at least it's not going to be such a distraction to your, to your audience. They're going to look and say, that slide actually belongs on that screen. So find that zoom mode if you are using a standard definition slide on a HDTV.